Hi Capricorn, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your life purpose and career money, career and money reading for April 2020. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. So Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you guys. Thanks for your patience. I realize I'm a little bit late for this reading for April, but I've been doing other things. Like eating. <laughs> Um, no, I'm kidding, uh, but I have been eating more <laughs> as I've been home more. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So one card from the Life Purpose deck by Doreen Virtue, one card from the Esther and Jerry Hicks Law of Attraction deck, Money in the Law of Attraction, and then yesterday when I did Pisces and Aquarius, I used a different deck, but I can't find it today, so uh, I'm going to use the Archangel Power to Row Oops. for the tarot. <laughs> And then uh, one card from The Money Tarot by Eugene Vinitsky. Let's go ahead and get started. I think I'll start with the Law of Attraction cards. And of course, Capricorn, since this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising, you can uh, check out your other readings as well to see if, if you're looking for additional guidance. Okay. Just to remind you, Capricorn, that all of my readings are available in audio format as well as here on YouTube and visual format, and there are links below. Okay, I can earn by doing what I love to do. Number 58. You know, and as we add 58 together, we get 13, and then I add them together for four. And so, you know, there's like, and even you can see she's working towards sort of base chakra, sacral chakra area there. Um, I can earn money by doing what I love to do. Now, Capricorn, you are one of the hardest working signs of the zodiac. And wouldn't it be amazing if you could continue to work as hard as you like to do, but be more in flow so it feels more enjoyable to you? Because if you could earn the money, doing what you love doing, it would be very stabilizing for you. Even more stabilizing. Because there's this idea, especially for earth signs sometimes, and for all people really, that if they work really hard, um, then that will create the stability via the income, right? Via the money. But what happens is as we begin to, this is for all, anyone, but as we do this and we begin to get away from, uh, our, our passions, our, our love for self and for life and for the unique gifts that we have, we destabilize ourselves as opposed to creating more stability for ourselves. So there may be the um, surface identification of money equals stability, but from a spiritual perspective and from an emotional perspective, the, the more that you get away from your core the more destabilizing that is for you. So something to think about and play with. Uh, you're not doing it wrong, but here we have an opportunity to open up more and more, especially because everything's shifting right now. It's a beautiful opportunity to reconnect with what it is you want to do. Maybe because you're not going into the physical office as much and you're surrounded by things, usually at home, that you like, right? And an opportunity for you to be a little bit more gentle with yourself and say, okay, I'm used to being busy and grinding away, perhaps, but now I have an opportunity to sink back into what it is I like to do. Because when you're bringing the love to it, that bring, brings the attention, that brings ultimately the money. Um, and then we have under the deck, I can pivot from feeling bad to feeling good. And we all know this, of course. There's always a choice. I can sit here and feel sorry for myself, I can sit here and worry, or I can take a deep breath and say, you know what, I'm just gonna choose to enjoy this time. I cannot control the future, but I can control how I feel in this moment. What do I want to do right now that feels good to me, that I enjoy doing? So an opportunity to reconnect with who you are now, what you enjoy doing now, as opposed to maybe when you first started your career and you've been grinding away, or when your kids were little, you know? It's an opportunity to reconnect and say, oh yeah, what do I like to do now? It may be a variation of what you thought you wanted to do way back in the day, perhaps, or it may have, been, it may have changed completely, 
But by reconnecting now, you are reintroducing yourself to who you are now and the gifts that you have now. Maybe through all the experiences that you've had. Let's get some more cards. And I would encourage you too, uh, I can't, uh, can't report to um, notice reds and yellows and oranges right now. In particular, orange, the color orange. Eat those colored foods if you can. Wear those colored clothes. Notice that you know right now it's springtime in the northern hemisphere. If you can notice the beauty um, that's around you, maybe uh, the leaves on the trees as they change colors. If you're in a different part of the globe. That will help you kind of subconsciously uh, connect to your first, second, and third chakras. Spring Capricorn, Sun, Winter, Rising, April 2020. Now this is for April 2020, but really it's for whenever you happen to be watching or listening to this reading. It's always the right time for you whenever you come across anything in life. Career change <laughs> and body work under the deck. Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. That may have been what you've been doing, or it may be something you're shifting into or being encouraged to explore more. But right here, we have the career change. I can earn money doing what I love to do. Maybe you like to work with your hands. You know, maybe you've been working in business, but your true love is to do woodworking to build furniture. There's an opportunity here. Career change. I would imagine this card is going to come up quite a bit. It came up for Aquarius as well. Very holistic opportunity here. Dropping into the body, not just the mind. What do I need to do to get ahead? How am I going to survive? Drop into your body. You're an earth sign Capricorn. What do I like to do? What do I like to do that I love to spend time doing? Do that for a little while. When you're doing what you love, you're in a place of openness. And when you're in a place of openness, ideas and opportunities tend to come to you more readily. But again, there's this sort of holistic feel here because we have the body work, right? 360, 360 degrees here with the lighthouse, the body, the lighthouse, the career change, something that's more holistic, something that's more balanced for you. And we even see that there's a heart here. Something that's more heart-centered for you. <laughs> the expression, you've earned your wings, is coming in. So it's like you've, you've earned your wings, you've grinded, you've done the hard work. Now you can enjoy, now you can soar a little bit, or glide, let's even say. I bet, give yourself a break here, Capricorn. And it may be beneficial. You can, Reiki can be done, energy healing can be done long distance. You can even go online and get attuned to these energies. Um, with the physical distancing, it may be hard to do massage therapy and physical therapy, but you can certainly work your body, work your physical body, get in shape during this time. I love to do yoga with Adrienne. Um, she's on YouTube, she's great. Uh, but there's so many different exercise programs you can do now from home and be guided you know, through the power of uh, social media, the internet, all of that. Okay, so, all right, so here we go. <laughs> Let's get the tarot cards for you, Capricorn. I have a feeling your reading's gonna go long. It's for Capricorn, seven and rising. What is the guidance for Capricorn for April 2020 or whenever Capricorn? Even engaging in like some sort of artwork or painting may be beneficial for you. Again, a more holistic sense, not just your mind, but getting in charge, getting in tune with your, getting in charge of your own life, of course, 
uh, as opposed to giving it over to someone else or some corporation. Um, and also uh, getting in tune with your creative side. Again, more holistic. But again, since this is a general reading, uh, if you've been doing that, you're being guided here to create some change around that. It may not be a complete career change, a sort of very sort of dramatic card, but it may be that you change aspects of your career so that it does feel more holistic, more balanced for you. Okay, we have the Chariot in reverse. We have the Page of Ariel in the reverse. Then we have the Knight of Raphael. It could be a water sign involved, Cancer. Scorpio or Pisces, strong cancer energy. Uh, and then we also have justice. As I said, something more balanced for you. Right? Justice is all about the scales under the deck, wanting something that's more balanced. It may be that even if, if you have had some sort of lawsuit or some sort of legal situation, it looks like with the justice card um, upright under the deck, it's going well for you or will go well for you. Or maybe you've recently come out of that. It also speaks to favor. People um, giving you favor, right? Have a favorable experience of you. Want to exhibit favor toward you. Um, but we do have the chariot in reverse. I kind of feel like it's past, present, future when I do it like this. But they all kind of tell a story here, Cancer or, uh, Capricorn. I keep saying Cancer, so maybe there is a very strong Cancer element here for, for some of you. Um, but it may be in the recent past you did kind of feel out of control, which understandable, <laughs> understandably, uh, based on you know the way things feel right now. Um, a sense of lack of control, who's in charge of my life, right? I did mention it came through as uh, you're in more, more in control here. And your page, the page of Ariel, where do you, you know, I think you are sort of reevaluating where you put your time and energy, where you place your resources, to whom you give your resources. There's a reevaluation going on here. Even a pulling back. I no longer want to invest my money, my time, my resources, including my physical resources, into this endeavor. There's a change here. And then we have the Knight of Raphael. Again, it could be a, um, a water sign who's involved here. It could just be you wanting something that's more poetic. Right, less practical, a bit more dreamy. Where you invest your time, maybe it's even in love. Right, you can make a shift towards a person, or they make a shift towards you. We see the Knight of Raphael coming back towards this page of Ariel. Um, so it could be you or someone else, but moving towards that um, disinvestment. <laughs> Is that a word? Uh, divestment of your time, energy, resources to, into something that feels better. More committed in a way that feels committed to the heart as opposed to committed to the mind or what people's, other people's expectations are of you. I get one more card, Capricorn, looking at your money. As you know, I'm not a financial advisor. This is a spiritual perspective on your finances, financial resources, money, ways that you earn income. Queen of Wands in reverse, and the, what is this? I think this is Wands, the Nine of Wands in reverse. You see the pack, the wolf pack here. But it is in reverse. You may feel, and it may be in some ways true, that your money during this time frame or coming into this time frame, it feels less protected. It feels a bit more vulnerable. It feels a bit more open. You know, you, you might like to have everything really locked down and, and clear. And right now, um, it doesn't feel that way. Or maybe you don't have as much coming in, so it does feel that there's this instability. And how do you protect the pack, right? How do you protect yourself and your family? It goes back to this kind of crazy energy here with the chariot in reverse. 
it could even be trips canceled or trips that go awry or for some of you in the recent past or maybe even during this time frame um, travel was interrupted and problems with travel I will say that um, but remember you do have justice under the deck as well so things are going to you are in favor this is a favorable favorable time for you um, it just feels unstable not just for you but for everyone but in particular for you because you have this career change changing the way you do your career changing the way you approach your career again it doesn't have to be a complete career change but definitely there's a shift going towards something that's more holistic right now around your money we have the queen of wands in reverse so the queen of wands in reverse <laughs> Um, can be a bit wild financially so just make sure that you're not overspending um, or allowing someone who's in charge of your in charge of your money or has access to your money to sort of have panic buys pull in a little bit keep an eye on the bottom line here it's easy for you Capricorn in many ways to do so being an earth sign being such a hard worker but do do watch it could also be that there's a fire sign uh, who's involved in your money, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And when it's in the reverse, they might have a lot of great ideas, but they haven't thought them through. And then, uh, and they may be very persuasive, <laughs> but you know, it's always your decision. Um, or if you are working with a spouse or whatever, make sure that you put forth your opinion anyway and have some really clear um, conversations about money. All right, I'm gonna get one more card for you, and then we're gonna close out your reading, Capricorn. All right, so this is the um, Tarot of the New Vision, and we're kind of looking at what's going on behind the scenes during this time frame around your career, sense of purpose in the world, all of that. So let's just get one more card. Again, bottom line with your money, just keep an eye and have open communication um, around your money. I think, you're, I think you're, you're in a good position with that Justice card. Um, but now's not the time to overspend, if you can help it. What's going on? Just kind of behind the scenes here. Capricorn during the month, this month, this time period. The Hermit and the Eight of Cups. So we do see moving on, right? We have career change, we have this idea of moving on, right? Changing, going towards something that feels more in line with what your heart desires. We have the Knight of Raphael, we have I can earn money by doing what I love, we have the body work, this focus on something that's more holistic, um, you've earned your wings, <laughs> uh, something that's more, more 360 degree, um, 360 degrees of feeling better to you, feeling like it makes more sense to you. And here we do, you've moved on. You've already, if you haven't done it yet, you're definitely in process of moving towards something that just feels better and leaving the busyness. We have all that busy city behind. It may just be um, a result of what's, of the, the quarantine, you know, the isolation, the self, um, social distancing that's occurring anyway. Um, and then we have the hermit, <laughs> right? This is you. Now, it could be a Virgo individual involved as well, but I really feel like it's, you know, what you're doing is you've kind of turned your back, right? And we have the snake coming in for transformation. You're walking away from something. You're wanting to earn money, doing what you love. It's more, st more stability for you, less destabilizing to your sense of self and the career change. Very clear message here, Capricorn, that it is time to make a shift. And if it hasn't wound its way into your consciousness yet, um, it, it will. <laughs> because we, that snake is always a powerful symbol of transformation. You're turning your back. You're looking for something different. Something that has uh, a greater sense of, again, holistic mind, body, spirit. A spiritual aspect, an emotional aspect. The monetary aspect, yes, the creative aspect. Um, powerful, powerful time period for change, transformation, and um, doing things in a more heart-centered way. 
Very, very cool reading for you, Capricorn. Okay, I hope that you find that helpful. I wish you much love as always. And um, I also have some meditation recordings up. They're free, so you're welcome to listen to those if um, it feels right for you. Till next time.